You've spent all year building your display, 3D printing essential items, sequencing. Who am I kidding? You likely don't sequence yourself. Going to Home Depot again and again and again. And your lights look absolutely beautiful. But oh no, it's a week from showtime and I forgot all about the audio. And it sounds like this. Or like this. Or like this. Audio is literally half your show. Often an afterthought, and one can't be bothered to watch an hour video on audio and FM transmission. Link in description below, and you really should watch it. You've come to the right place. Nothing sponsored, no affiliations. I just want your display to sound as good as it looks. <sighs> oh, look, the older pies have audio out. I'll just use this. Guess what? It's trash. But I run X Scheduler, and my computer has a headphone out. Generic. Crash. My device doesn't have an audio out. What am I to do? Upgrade your sound card with the Creative Sound Blaster. Creative has been making high quality audio devices with custom chips for decades. They know PC audio, and the difference is night and day. Don't settle for generics. But onboard sounds fine. You didn't get into this hobby to do things fine or half baked. Audio is something you need to hear the difference yourself. Don't cheap out on 19 bucks. Well, I'll just use this cheapo USB adapter. Generic audio. Trash. But this is a few bucks cheaper. Cheap USB. Trash. Onboard and generics output sound. Yes, but not quality sound. If using one of these Culp boards, they use a TI DAC, which also outputs quality sound parity to the Sound Blaster, so you're good to go on the audio out. If using a BeagleBone, Pi 5, Zero, or Hat, USB audio is your only choice. Get the Sound Blaster Play 3. If not in stock, alternatives can be found here. Wouldn't be the first time I've had Amazon go out of stock. Power off, plug in, turn on, select the Sound Blaster. Keep the volume at 70 and leave it. Add a five second boot delay if the sound card isn't showing up. Still not showing up or it goes away? You probably have an overpowered FM transmitter or an underpowered Pi. Plug in your audio source to output. Speaking of power, if a Pi or BeagleBone is underpowered, expect weirdness. Use official Pi power supplies whenever possible. Ditch random power supplies and cables for quality ones. Too many USB devices sucking power and causing weirdness? Get a powered hub. FM will be the best way to broadcast quality, no latency audio. And no, FM isn't going away. Bluetooth is narrowcast, will always introduce a delay, and phone speakers will never compare to actual speakers. These are the most common FM transmitters in our hobby, which can be obtained. All have their pros and cons, but if you just want an out-of-box experience, the half-watt sign stack or equivalent is a good choice. Don't ever buy a higher wattage unless you want problems. Remember if I bring them up close to my FM transmitter, they, they start to go crazy. If you're using a sign stack half watt, set to low power. Rolls and FM board transmitters have no power adjustments. Pro tip, buy a second for a backup. RDS for song info? I don't even bother. Use your remote falcon to show what is playing, artwork, show information, vote for songs and more. Some don't come with antennas, and if supplied, they generally are not that great. And cutting a random length of wire, is even worse. For a great inexpensive antenna that can be built in an evening, see John Creed's dipole antenna design. Mount your antenna higher and no obstructions to increase range and signal strength. Think line of sight. Use quality shielded cables, but audio cables are no substitution or fix for generic sound cards or bad audio levels. Using an FM transmitter and outdoor speakers, audio splitters are fine. So are Ethernet balance for long runs. You can run audio cables 50 feet or more without issue. Just don't run alongside pixel or power cords unless you love unintended techno remixes. If using speakers, I recommend outdoor polk or klipsch. Dual if on a budget. Use an amplifier. Do not power directly. Drock offers affordable, quality amplifier boards powered by 12 volt. Alternatively, find a cheap home theater receiver at thrift shops. You can even make your own push for music with a Drock timer. Buy your MP3s from Amazon. Don't rip your audio from YouTube. If you can't afford a dollar for quality MP3 files, you're in the wrong hobby. MP3 gain and normalization will help optimize audio files. MP3 gain will not fix your show's audio in just one click, nor will it make all songs have the same volume. I'm not saying don't use it. Use it, but understand what it does and what it does not do, as it's just one part of having good audio. This is very important. Don't skip this part. Optimizing your gain levels is crucial so you have the strongest audio signal without distortion. Also, don't guess. Regardless of what some rando person online says, don't put FPP at 50 and the volume dial at halfway and call it a day as your levels will be less than optimal or introduce distortion. Instead, use science. 
If using FPP, leave at 70. If using a computer, set volume at 100. Leave these settings here. You're not going to be changing them. We are going to use a 0 dB 100 hertz test tone. This audio file is at the maximum volume level without distortion. Any distortion downline is easy to hear with bass. Generate one in Audacity or download here. Play the 100 hertz test tone from FPP or your computer on a loop. Get your in listening device such as car radio if broadcasting or external speakers and put around 25% volume. This doesn't have to be exact. With the 100 hertz test tone playing, slowly turn up the gain on your FM transmitter till you hear distortion on the in listening device. Once you hear distortion, back the game down until you hear no more distortion. Now leave this set here. Done! You've optimized your audio gain and can now turn up your in listening device. If you're using the FM board, you can skip optimization as inputs are set digitally, so leave it 26. I can't cover much troubleshooting in this short video, you lazy bum. Watch my longer video, but the most common issues I see are in this order. Underpowered Pi or BeagleBone. Overpowered or underpowered FM transmitter. Using an FM transmitter greater than half a watt and have issues? You were warned, here's a bucket for you to cry into. No crying in the online forums. Gain levels not set properly or set randomly by some rando online recommendation. Using generic or onboard audio and not a creative sound blaster. Poor antenna or antenna location. Too many USB devices or underpowered USB hub dropping the sound card or one gig USB hub causing audio interference. In conclusion, Creative Sound Blaster. Quality audio files, normalize if needed. Quality FM transmitter, an antenna mounted high and unobstructed. Quality cables, don't underpower your FPP or use an overpowered FM transmitter. Optimizing gain levels. And check here for the updated hardware list. And you're all set. Your show sounds as good as it looks. Crack a cold one, enjoy the show, and have a Merry Christmas.